Hello friends, it's Carol and I am here in my nursery with my beautiful Peyton and <clears throat> it is Wednesday and it is time to change Peyton into something pink. Oh, you want to turn your head right here and look at your aunties? So today, I just realized I forgot to grab her a pink headband, but I found one that fast. That's awesome. All right, we are ready to change this girl. So she is still in her 4th of July outfit because uh, I made that video and then immediately... The next day was sick, but that is in the past. I am really starting to feel much better now. Um, yeah, the COVID virus is nothing to uh, make light about. Um, today, I wanted to do a tag that um, was started by... Uh, Mandy, actually, at Man Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. And um, you also want to keep Mandy in your prayers. She is not feeling very good right now either. Um, if you know Mandy, she's got a great channel. Um, so pray for her and her husband, Joe. They're both battling the virus right now, too. And, um, yeah. So her tag actually came out about two weeks ago. I realize I've got my camera kind of not in a good spot. And I'm not sure I like these armatures in here. Really hard to get her dressed and undressed. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, Peyton. I guess you need a little undershirt under here, but I don't have one for you right yet. She does have a little diaper on, but probably should be changed out for a different one. Don't know if I have anything pink available. Probably not. Well, I'll leave the diaper for now. I'll just kind of... This is a really... A really, really old diaper from many days gone by. Do I see the brand on there? I don't know if I can. It's a bum genius. The old style with the Velcro. Yeah. Well, today I'm putting on this little pink romper. And it has... A little monkey at the top. It's pale pink with yellow trim around the neck. And then it's got this little monkey applique on it that's pink with light pink design. Has a little bright pink flower in her hair. And that monkey has, is holding on to a stitched monkey that's just um, outlined in like a teal um, embroidery floss. And then that monkey has some yellow uh, pieces, face and ears. So we're going to be putting this on little Peyton and we will see how it goes. Now I'm not sure about her arms because she has these three quarter arms and, um, yeah, her fabric might show a little bit, but I don't have the energy right now to go hunt down a, an undershirt. Yeah, baby. Um, okay, so the tag. I almost forgot to do the tag. Wow. I really find that my mind is not so great these last couple weeks. I can't keep focused on things. Anyway, the first, well, the, the tag is called What Gives You Comfort? And I thought that was a really good tag to do since 
the last few weeks I have needed a lot of comfort and uh, so this is pretty near and dear to me right now and the first question it's only five questions um, do reborns comfort you and why well they do comfort me um, they're just so cuddly and snuggly and they are just so um, holding a doll to me is so much like holding a baby. I'm gonna turn you over, Peyton. Oh, you're gonna try to crawl, okay. She is just about to that crawling stage and she tries to push up sometimes. Um, I think they're pretty much the nearest thing you can get to a real baby. And I love babies. Babies always make me feel good. If I'm in the grocery store and a mom goes by pushing a cart with a little baby in it, I am just like, instantly, it brightens me up. So this is not too bad. Yeah, let's get this bow in your hair. So um, I think it's just because they're so close to life, like babies, that brings me comfort and yeah I must say the first week that I was sick I could not get up here to the nursery to here's your hair bow to get the baby all the babies were upstairs because we had had company on Sunday and um I had put all the babies away because I didn't want the little kids to get into my dolls. Um, yeah, there she is, friends. Oh, you want to sit up now? Okay. We can let you sit up. We just have to move this up a little bit. She is such a cute little thing. And if you're going to sit up, you need to look at the camera. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't really have it up high enough. There we go. And she has a little monkey here that she can play with. And of course, she has her little bear that she loves. So for a week, I didn't have a baby down there and I really did not, um, feel good at all and um, I was so glad the first time I could get up the stairs and bring a baby down yeah question number two what are your favorite comfort foods well if you're talking about food and not just treats my favorite comfort food would be noodles and I like noodles with butter um just any kind of noodles any pasta it can be egg noodles it can be macaroni it can be spaghetti whatever i have in the house and i just like it with a lot of butter and some seasoned salt and that to me is just my ultimate comfort food if you're talking about quick snacks my favorite comfort foods would be number one chocolate and number two, ice cream. So yeah. Um, question number three, what is your comfort movie? Well, right now uh, my comfort movie is a series and it's The Chosen, um, which is The Life of Jesus. And um, it just is such a comfort to see the life of Jesus portrayed um, in the way that Dallas Jenkins has done it. And the fact that The Chosen is not paid for by um, a st big studio or big corporations, it is all paid for with crowdfunding, private donations, <clears throat> makes it even better. Um, they're making season three right now, but I have season one and two on a DVD, and I just watch them whenever I want. Love that. And um, 
you can also watch it right on your phone on the Chosen app. And that is a free app. So if you've not seen The Chosen and you have a smartphone, that's a great way to see it. Um, com our number four, what is your comfort book? My most comforting book is the Bible, which I am reading through the Bible cover to cover. I started mid-January and I am, uh, I have just started, let's see, my camera hurts. The book of Acts. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's where I am. And so that's a big comfort to me. I read that every day. And then I also like um, several Christian authors. Uh, Karen Kingsbury has a lot of wonderful books. Francine Rivers um, are just two. There's, there's a third one that I have. And um, just, oh, Beverly Lewis, yeah. So just really good stories. And number five, what is your comfort music? My comfort music is contemporary Christian. It's my happy music. It's my sad music. It's my comfort music. It's my everything music. It's what I listen to um, pretty much 100% of the time. And my favorite comfort song right now is by Katie Nicole, and it's called In Jesus' Name, and uh, subtitled The God of Possible. And it just is such a comfort to me to hear that song. So those are my answers to the five comfort, comfort questions posed by uh, Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. Here's my beautiful Peyton. She is the Paris sculpt from Ashton Drake, dressed in her pink. For on Wednesdays, we wear pink, which is hosted by Shara over at Reborn Living Dolls. And I'm sorry, Peyton, I didn't do your hair very well, but we can work on that later. I just really don't have the energy I am used to having. So with that said, there's my beautiful Peyton, and I want you all to have a great evening. I will be back tomorrow for Theme Thursday, and she's got these little monkeys. You might see those monkeys if you are on a safari. Um, so she's already ready. I didn't realize that until just now. Um, but I want you to just know that God is greater than the highest high and the lowest low. He is everywhere. He sent his Holy Spirit so that that spirit could indwell each and every one of us and be with us at all times. Some people don't understand how God can be everywhere um, all at once. But when Jesus walked this earth, he was one man. He was a person he was the son of the father, but he was a person and he was one person who walked this earth. He could not be everywhere at all times. So when he went up to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to come to earth to indwell us and be living in us if we choose that. And that is how God can be everywhere at all times and it's just to me so comforting to know that I always have the spirit with me and uh, it's very very comforting all right until the next video God bless you friends bye bye